hi aries here's a general look at your solar chart for april 2009 and uh, happy birthday i know some of you ha have had your birthdays already in march and did you know that in the ancient greek zodiac which has 22 signs you were born under the constellation of pegasus the white winged horse and um, you are linked to the myth of Pegasus, but more on that later. So uh, as the month begins, well, well um, this is the time of the year, um, Aries, when you would benefit from just sitting back a bit and taking stock, being a little bit more introspective about things. Yes, the sun is in your sign. And yes, there is a lot going on. It's a very sociable time. You're feeling more active and outgoing than of late. But still, your ruling planet is in this rather private, reflective area of your life, which is pulling your energies inward somewhat. So don't try to overreach or overstretch, you, you, overstep, you know, the mark with that one, because you won't be running on a full tank of fuel with Mars there. Not until after the 23rd, anyway, when you really will have rocket fuel in your tank. Um, so you're in the run up to that period now. So now is the time for you to get fit, for you to get well, for you to uh, commune with your inner wise voice, your source energy, spirit energy, higher self energy, just your, 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 your inner self really. And uh, don't let yourself be too pressured by your outside responsibilities. Yes, I mean, life still goes on and uh, you'll be working quite hard on things. You could be working quite hard on something behind the scenes at the moment. And maybe, uh, particularly around about the fifth, you don't feel as though you're getting much of a thank you for that. Or in fact, you, you might have to push through some sort of difficulty there. Also on the, um, from the ninth, you've got Mercury going into a financial area where uh, you could also be focusing more on uh, property matters, income you know money money's coming in money's going out and also um, just generally about your personal security but actually I think you could do quite well because you've got Venus in your sign um, unusually Venus is is visiting your sign for a very long time and Venus is still in your sign this month or uh, uh, bar the t between the 12th and the 24th uh, when she goes into a rather low key area where maybe you might have to you know keep I don't know, keep a low profile about some kind of a relationship. Um, and uh, until after the, the uh, 24th. But uh, she's also related to money and, um, you know, attracts money, attracts quality resources, attracts good people, attracts good, it's just an attractor. It's kind of a bit magnetic. So when uh, you may be, you know, wanting to make improvements, uh, related to your financial situation or maybe investments, property, that kind of thing. Um, you know, um, she's going to help you. Um, maybe, um, you know, if you have to make a decision along those lines, you shouldn't be doing that between the 12th and the 24th. And also maybe you shouldn't be doing it on the 5th when you've got this sort of heavier energy around. In fact, probably um, you're going to be most effective at applying, um, well, getting clarity and applying um, your your intention, your will, your decisions after the 23rd of the month. So you're in this very sociable phase. It's great for business because you're good at, are you persuasive, you're good at selling. People find what you represent, what you have, what you're what you're peddling, what you're 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 talking about more more, more appealing, more attractive because of this Venusian energy, which is balancing you. It's taking the sort of sharp edges off you. And also, you know, you could be treating yourself in a more Venusian kind of a way. Um, for you ladies out there, you know, honoring you, your, your beautiful goddess energy. And for the men, well, getting in touch with your feminine side. Uh, and uh, um, no, but it just is like that. Take advantage of it. It's very unusual that Venus would be in one sign of the zodiac this long. So um, capitalize on it. It's, you know, it could give you an amazing uh, talent. It could give you, um, um, it, it, it could give you a gift or an idea 
which you could uh, which could be very lucrative for you in the future so if you are out hunting uh, for around for ideas to sort of you know fill up the piggy bank or um, you know um, invest in or in fact turn assets into cash this is a very good time to be doing that also blending with others in, of like mind um, collaborating with partners in business but also with Venus the goddess of love in your sign well um, you know uh, the world's your oyster and so you know you need to get scrubbed up a little bit you need to get fit uh, and this of course is the month for doing that you know working hard at getting yourself in um, a healthier um, uh, and 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 in, 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 inwardly, you know, shining, shining your light out there into the world. Great for pulling together with others at the moment. Great period for artistic projects, um, healing work, spiritual work, as well. And um, as I say, don't forget, you know, you need to be doing this this, this sort of exercise in self reflection over. Um, the month of April that's up until the 23rd so don't let the outer demands of the world get too much in the way of that because that is actually quite Im important important also another thing I'm going to have to sort of mention here is that you you know you may get those niggling uh, problems with with machinery <laughs> um, you know um, the um, the mechanical side of our, our daily lives like vehicles and computers and so on um, that they may also need uh, some of your attention, some TLC too. But as I say, don't try not to let that get too much in the way. Try not let the material world get too much in the way of your more spiritual, emotional side. Uh, now, I think around about the 11th, um, there could be a very good uh, energy coming in there, which could put a smile on your face, piece of good news, um, or uh, something that just sets you off on another t uh, um, path in your thinking, which maybe will help with this um, financial uh, business that I was talking about, and also property. It could be that something just comes to your attention, which takes you... Uh, to to the place that you've been trying to get to uh, find you know f find the resource that you've been looking for or getting something ironed out with somebody to do with resources anyway it's likely to be good news uh, early Aryans will of course you're feeling the first um, the first chapter in this transit from Pluto which is going to bring some uncomfortable old stuff that's been swept under the carpet up to the surface of your life. You're not going to be so tolerant um, of certain behaviours both in, in yourself and in others. You'll feel more like, um, less like actually sweeping things under the carpet and maybe a little bit more assertive but uh, more on that later. Um, and uh, early Aryans, well, I think you you probably make a good contact with somebody. And um, by that I mean the first four days of Aries. Good contact with somebody on the 22nd and the 23rd. And for all you Aryans, um, there is going to be this uh, coming together, this sort of um, um, clicking and 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 a line aligning uh, of 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 your. If you do the work, actually, you can get all of your bodies lined up pretty well. And, and that will really start to show. You'll really start to be able to use that energy from the 23rd of the month. Well, that's it for April. If you know your rising sign, have listened to that too.